hello friend this is opening and welcome to learn sap app so in this session we are going to continue our last video of app on hana new syntax part 2 okay so if you still didn't watch first and second part then please click on the icon above or you click on the link given in the description okay so you will also learn and you will start using the new syntax while implementing the business logic okay so in the second part of about new syntax uh, we have seen how to replace old read statement with the new syntax okay but let's suppose we didn't get any data from the read statement then it will throw dump so today we are going to see how to handle this dump using try and catch block okay so please watch video completely to learn this advanced topics okay so let's get started uh, but before that uh, if you are the first time on my channel or you still didn't subscribe to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of more technical videos okay and please join my telegram channel also to get notification of my new upcoming videos so you may find the link in the description okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching learn sap app so now i will comment this okay now we will uncomment the next query which is the read get the index number from the particular entries okay from the internal table okay see can okay so now here what we have like uh, here what we are doing here we are just reading the data we really reading the table uh, reading the data from this table uh, we were basically reading the index of the particular record okay so we will show you the output of this record for this next first so this is the output index is one because we have only one record it from this table okay so i will show you how we can replace this uh, query okay so here we have the new syntax so here what i will do i will use the data lv and the index we have to re uh, pass the value to this variable equal to so here we have to use line underscore index line index and here i will use lt text LT test to bracket to bracket bookers equal to LV bookers okay and close bracket okay I will uh, and what I will do I will use this same right index is this here okay so I will comment this part because we already seen the output Okay, I will check and okay, if I will execute now you can see the same output okay index is one okay so this is a new syntax we can use in order to replace the old syntax to really to read the index okay okay so now now very most very uh, important thing let's suppose I will show you something in debugger okay so here I will show you something it is a very important thing okay don't see in this video let let me uncomment this first query okay it is not for the first query it is so applicable for all the all the queries okay let me uh, uncomment this okay so here as you have already seen we have this internal table uh, as per the old syntax we are reading the data we are reading the data okay and we are we have replaced with this new syntax okay but now let's suppose if you didn't get the data from this table okay from this table let's suppose we don't have any data okay it's a very important thing okay we will please uh, uh, we whenever you have to use this syntax we should you handle the we should write this syntax inside the try and catch block okay so please uh, why we need to write this in under the in a try and catch try and catch block i will show you the reason okay so let's suppose i will activate this what i will do i will just put the debugger over here okay so so okay let me show you the first output okay if i will execute sorry if i will execute effect so you can see the output over here okay because the data is present okay so now what i will do i will again execute this okay so now if you if you check here okay so here as you can see we have our data so what i will do i will just delete this data okay from here delete record okay let's suppose i don't have any record okay okay let's suppose i uh, okay so lt text is blank okay we don't have a, now let's suppose if i will execute the if you press f5 if i will execute now let's see what will happen you will get this kind of dump okay so in order to handle this situation means whenever if the data is not present 
so in that case you will you you might get this uh, kind of dump okay so in order to avoid this situation we need to use this particular whatever the uh, new logic new syntax we are going to use So okay, so okay, so we so in order to avoid this, in order to handle this dump uh, dump issue, we need to write this uh, this new syntax in, uh, in in the try and catch block, and it is only applicable for the read table. Okay, so whenever we are using you know, using the read uh, read table with the new syntax, we have to write inside the try and catch block. Okay, so I will show you how we can write. So here, what we have to do, we just need to write the try and catch. What I will do, I will copy as it is here. I will just cut, and here I will paste okay here we have to catch the exception the exception is cx sy underscore i tap i uh, i tap underscore line not found line not found okay here we have to catch the exception okay and so here now in, in this and uh, what i will do in order to print this statement here i will use if test is not initial then this logic will execute okay or this logic okay okay so now what we have done we have only used the try and catch block okay why because in let's suppose if, if there is no any data present in this table so we you might get any dump okay so uh to avoid the dump we have to write the always try and catch block and we have to catch the exception cx item line not found cx line not found cx sy item line not found and we have to write whatever the logic uh, we want to in order to display if the data exists so we can write in this way okay now let me show you again in the debugger okay so you will get the idea how it's work okay now what i will do i will again do the same thing here we have one record here I will delete this now you are not going to get any output okay you are not getting the dump also and you are not going to get any output okay so now I will press F5 so now here let's suppose LT data is blank so what it will do it will just call this it will call this try cache okay so now let's see it handle the exception okay an exception occur but it it is not giving any dump okay as of now so now if I will press F5 okay so lt text is not initial uh, if it is if not initial so it will it will give it is not going to print anything on the screen okay so that this way you can you know uh, avoid the dump issue okay so if i will press f5 okay f5. now what i will do i will just execute again fully executed because the text present f5 effect so you will get the same output okay here so you can use this uh, try you can you have to always write the try and catch block okay whenever you are replacing the are replacing this read table statement okay with the new syntax and here also you can do the same thing for the index statement here also for the index also you can do the same thing okay and even for this also you can do the same thing okay so this is applicable whenever you are, you are writing the read statement okay so i hope friend uh, you like this video so if you like this video and if you have any if you like this video then please like press the like button below and if you have any doubt if you want to give uh, any kind of a suggestion so and uh, you can write me in a comment section below okay and uh, i will create another pod also okay so please stay tuned with me okay so if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.dunnysapiapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out